from Air DNA, Scott. Sixteen cents out of every dollar spent on global lodging today is given to people's private homes. In the last five years alone, the short-term rental market has grown by 300 percent. And unlike hotels that have had the luxury of market intelligence data for the last couple decades, the fragmentation of the short-term rental market has made it historically almost impossible to analyze. But when Airbnb arrived in 2008, they did something slightly different. Instead of being an advertising platform connecting travelers to people looking、uh, to people owning the home, they actually became、uh, the, the merchant of record and owned that transaction. And in that, for the first time, they created calendars that were instantly updated and 100% accurate. And in 2015, AirDNA was born. We were able to find 30 million actual Airbnb reservations and build out the first machine learning algorithm, which could figure out what was a booking versus a block date and what was the value of those reservations on Airbnb listing around the world. And with this amazing new insight on the performance of the properties around the world, we were able to launch MarketMinder in 2017. And this was a high-level market intelligence tool that had insights in 80,000 markets around the world, which could tell the average consumer what was the average daily rate, occupancy rates, revenues generated by all the listings on Airbnb and other OTAs around the world. And for as little as $50, you can upgrade your service to filter the results, to view three years of historical metrics. To understand how you benchmark against your peers, and even you know upload your property to get some customized recommendations. And not only do we analyze the existing short-term rental supply in the marketplace, we actually allow users to enter in any address in the world to get an automated, real-time valuation of what that property could earn as a short-term rental property. And over the last few years, we've We've gotten tremendous traction.、Uh, we are currently at a 9.3 million dollar run rate, and we were able to have about 9,000 active subscribers on the platform. And what we really were able to solve is be able to find these five million individual operators around the world by partnering with press, by getting into 500 publications over the last year. We we're able to drive really tremendous brand awareness and SEO, generating. About 250,000 visitors to our site every single day, or every single month. I'm sorry. But what's next? We've worked hard on being able to figure out how do you invest in short-term rental properties. How do you benchmark the performance of your property to your competition? But the biggest single decision that short-term rental operators are making on a daily basis is how to price that property perfectly every single day. And so now we have launched the most sophisticated revenue management tools in the market today. First, users can come and research the rates of the competitors in their marketplace. They can see spikes in demand. You know what is New Year's Day doing versus Christmas Day. They can see what the expected occupancy rates are of any day for a year into the future, and they can figure out how to competitively price their properties versus their peers. But we've taken it one step further, and. We are now launching the first true dynamic pricing tool in the market, which requires no user input. People, since we have the best data for the last five years in all these properties in all of these markets, we can instantly analyze every single property, see exactly what they've done historically, whether that's worked or not, what the best performing properties in that marketplace are doing, and actually recommend what is the optimal rate for that property into the future. Now, with this amazing sort of toolkit of data and analytics tools that we have, we've been able to partner with lots of different property managers in this space, because we can we can partner with software providers that are doing channel management or doing traditional PMS, and we can offer them this toolkit of pricing of market intelligence, and in return, they can give us their data on whether the actual reservations happening on all of their properties. 
Today, we have about 350,000 properties that are giving, them, giving us their data currently. And with this pricing tool, we know we'll get to over a million properties by the end of 2020. And with the most accurate, the most comprehensive data set in the marketplace today, the opportunities for monetizing that data are limitless. Whether it's the professional vacation rental manager looking to scale their business, whether it's the OTAs trying to compete in a very crowded home sharing environment today, or destination marketing organizations trying to understand what the entire lodging picture is in their marketplace, or even real estate trying to figure out, real estate brokers and agents trying to figure out you know, how to really deal with this new asset class. We are already working with some of the uh, dozens of the best uh, and most known brands in this industry in every single vertical. And our goal at AirDNA is really to create a data-driven ecosystem to empower the future of private accommodations. Thank you. Thank you very much, Scott. Step off the stage. Focus group. Uh, I think it's our first 10 thumbs up. Well done. Anyone wanted to comment? Yeah, this is one of my favorite topics because <clears throat> we are extremely interested in, in vacation rental and we've seen, one is your, you're probably only two competitors in the space right now with you and Transparent, so that's great. It's a limit, limited there. You're in data, that's two. You're in a category that's growing the fastest in the hotel side, and that's going to disrupt hotels probably, so that's three. The only thing that I've seen, and I know you probably experienced this in businesses, is because it's just taking a little time to adapt, you, you're probably going to have some churn issues initially, which is how do you maintain that churn issues while going after the big whales to prevent that. But that, I think, fantastic, and I think you're in the right category overall. Yeah, t to me, it's, uh, it's replicating what has been a very successful model in the hotel industry with STR and the data, uh, and all of those uh, uh, segments are utilizing it uh, as well. A uh, couple of things that uh, I, I'd love to get clarification on. One is, um, do you, when you get the reservation data, are you getting things like point of sale and, and uh, all of the details like uh, Calibri Labs is as now? And the second thing is, do you allow your properties to actually create comp sets? Because just having the pricing uh, is great, but maybe they don't actually compete with the, the, the two bedroom doesn't compete with the, the 10 bedroom or the luxury versus the, the mid scale. So do you allow comp sets uh, for your data? I'm with KJ. I think this is a, a great opportunity. I, uh, Scott, nice to see you again. I'm a user of the Market Minder product. It works. Um, I like how you've shifted from chasing independent owners, which is a sort of a long slog, over to the data model. I think it's the right move for the business. Uh, it sounds like you've also moved from uh, dependence on sort of a single data source to the wider spread data source underneath. So all good. All thumbs up. I'd like to add that I'd echo the statements from the panel here, but uh, the one thing that wasn't clear to me in your roadmap or whether you apply it today is when you go a year out, to understand the pricing opportunity and the dynamic pricing that model that you probably got behind the scenes. How do you bake in events or activities in the market to predict how, those, uh, how that demand might change? That wasn't clear to me. And just to add to that is like, imagine you could actually show the hotel way of data provider as well as revenue management, which is actually siloed today. So you could show the way. Wondering why you weren't part of that recent STR sale as a wrap up. Let's bring it down to the floor. Scott, you want to comment on any of that? Uh, a few topics there. I mean, how do we see the future? I mean, the, we can see on Airbnb and the vacation rental platforms exactly what is booked up to a year plus into the future. So that's how we see real-time sort of future demand. Uh, for the comp sets, you know, I'm still a believer that computers can pick comps better than people can, and we can see exactly what is the most, you know, the proximity, the the beds and baths to be able to really select that for the user so we don't do customized comp sets. Was there anything else I was supposed to respond to? Um, point of sale? Um, when we have data partners, we get lots of data that we can't get via 
uh, scraping or any other methodology. And that could be the distribution channel that it was booked on, you know, whether that was uh, booked on Booking or Expedia or whatever. We can get addresses. We get other data that's not really visible from the website itself. Thank you very much, Scott. Well done. Next up, 